Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tower. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people, the traditional custodians of the land on which these videos are made, and welcome to you, your guides, my guides, and the universal energies. Just doing two short readings today, going to lunch with a, my a beautiful girlfriend who I came out about several weeks ago for her 80th birthday and uh, a complete random stranger paid for her lunch. So we're using that as an excuse to say, well, I didn't actually take her out to lunch, so we're going again. Um, so uh, look, really looking forward to it. Um, but just very quickly, uh, next week I'll be coming to you from New Zealand. I uh, didn't say anything earlier. Um, because um, we were going to have it as a surprise for my mum, for me just rocking up on Saturday. Um, however, uh, plans are now uh, being made this afternoon and tomorrow in regards to treatment and appointments, etc. So, <laughs> yeah, I think she needs to know that somebody's going to be there to be uh, to be a chauffeur and a bottle washer and a housemaid and all the rest of it. And, looking forward to it. Whether it's two weeks or, or two months, who knows how long I'm going to be over there, but I'm very portable. Uh, lots and lots of loving family over in New Zealand with my mum, uh, but most of them work and or have other um, commitments. So, hey, it's easy for me to, to, to go and I'm absolutely honoured to do so. Okay, entertainment only. Let us have a look. So, um, I just was uh, talking on my previous video about with the Alberta healthcare system in New Zealand, just like Australia, we have universal healthcare. I'm just going to point out for my American compatriots in regards to universal healthcare. She went to the doctors on Monday, had some blood tests taken. Monday afternoon, the results were back and she was told, get yourself down to the major hospital in the area. Cousin drove her down. They immediately took her through. Um, a private room bed, three blood transfusions, um, been in the hospital since Monday, had a bone marrow biopsy yesterday, uh, and then I'll be starting to talk about treatment. No cost. <laughs> no cost. So she's not in that bed worrying about whether she's going to have to sell the house um, because what happens in Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and uh, hopefully we'll retain it, and other countries, uh, we pay for this in our taxes and we are more than happy to pay for it in our taxes. It means, okay, yeah, I might pay an extra 1% or 2% tax, um, but it does mean that if anybody needs help and it doesn't matter who they are, they get it. Okay, that's my little soapy box. What I'm going to have a look at is, well, I promised yesterday to have a look at Trump's health. Now, what's come out overnight was that uh, apparently he and his cohorts attended uh, the Arlington Cemetery uh, for uh, to lay a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier, and it was all turned into a big publicity event. Now, apparently there was a family of a um, military member, a veteran who had been buried and invited uh, Trump and his campaign members to a, uh, an area called Section 60, uh, where there is no video or photography allowed. It's actually in, the, in uh, legislation. Uh, a law was passed through Congress that there for... Um, for respect and for honouring those that are buried in the Arlington Cemetery, uh, that there is no photography or cameras allowed. Well, what happened is, as you can guarantee, it was a photo op and there's Trump with his thumbs up next to a grave. I'm just like, really? Thumbs up? First of all, photo op, but then actually putting on that goofy grin and Thumbs up. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm expecting Belle from Bow of the Fifth Column to absolutely have something to say about this because, boy, she was cross yesterday uh, when news had come out about, um, what was it, uh, Trump declaring that uh, there had been uh, no US soldiers were killed or shot at during the 18-month period while he was um in the White House, well, that was just a huge, huge, huge lie. And boy, was she cross because she has served as, as a medical professional over in Afghanistan. Uh, this was in Afghanistan that Trump was saying, 
So apparently the official at Section 60 tried to prevent uh, the photo op taking place for all the reasons stated above, and uh, Trump's team uh, attacked uh, the official, who was a retired veteran, claiming that he had mental health issues and all the rest of it. I am so... How disgusting can it get? So anyhow, veterans are cranky. I'm going to say veterans are cranky. Uh, this is also the same guy that basically uh, said that the Medal of Freedom that he gives out is higher than the Medal of Honor given out by the military because the Medal of Freedom are given to people that are uninjured and still alive. I just, oh, what does it take? for people to, for the veterans and military personnel to really be disgusted by this man. Okay, entertainment only. What I want to have a look, first up, I'm using my trip and weight tarot. I'm going to have a look to see whether there is, what is the backlash against Trump in regards to this. Oh, very quickly, the FBI have come out and said that the uh, gunman crooks uh, in regards to the little cut on his ear, you know what I'm talking about. They're coming out and saying his search history, apparently he searched uh, Trump and Biden uh, about 60 times in 30 days. Goodness me, I do that in about three days. So yeah, okay, whatever. Um, I must, you know, I wouldn't have said that was overly a large amount if you had some sort of interest, but anyhow. Right, but moving on from that, um, I want to have a look at uh, how do military personnel and veterans feel about the Trump team attacking the official at Arlington um, on social media, in the media, uh, the disrespect at the Arlington Cemetery. How how are the how are the veterans and the military personnel feeling? Cross. We're getting cross, as in angry cross. Let's have a look. How are they feeling? Okay. Well, speaking of cross, here's a crossroads. Um, so they're processing the processing. And they're, they've been confronted with, well, which way, what what messaging, what which way do we turn in regards to this? Drawn to the three crows up the top there, um, blackbirds, ravens, whatever they are, in my light seers deck, that three crows signifies the three of um, three of swords, which is the betrayal, the 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 heartbreak and loss, etc. But I'm getting betrayal here. So how are they feeling? Yeah, there's a number of them that are actually at a crossroads about which way to go forward due to this sense of or feeling of betrayal that is circling over them. Challenged by keeping a lid on the emotions, um, but why? Okay, I just saw PTSD in my in my mind. Um. Yeah, the challenge is to keep the they to keep the lid on the emotions in regards to this. I'm getting triggering. I'm I'm feeling that this is going to be really triggering for an element here. Uh, at the foundation again, another choice needs to be made about uh the moral compass. Um, for you know they may have devoted themselves to the sky for whatever reason. But now they're 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 presented with a, a moral compass decision, and the deck beneath them, the the ground that they made their stand on, is suddenly very shaky. Okay, in the past, uh, the plan coming to fruition, the ships coming into harbour, but it's in the past. Uh, standing on the headline, headland and spouting the messaging. So this is very much about those. So they've gone from being in a safe harbour to all of a sudden being on really shaky ground. Thank you. Love it when my guides prompt me to the, to the conclusion. So they've gone from being in safe harbour, feeling secure to being confronted with a betrayal 
choice, the betrayal messaging, the PTSD here, the triggering, and the shaky on the shaky ground. Okay, crowning this reading, something unexpected out of left field coming forward on an emotional level. So an emotional connection. Um, how are they feeling? I'm just getting emotionally, they're just really being taken by surprise. Awful, awful energy. Actions will have consequences with the justice card in the near future. Weighing up, balancing this, this undeniable truth. Uh, we've got the, um, the guru here, which is the authorities or the government institutions. I'm going to say externally, the military. There may be a, well, such in the fact that he acted illegally, um, because the, it is in law that photo ops and filming is not allowed there for um, political purposes. So there may be some legal action, but I'm feeling more that this is about the military are going to make a really powerful statement. We've got temperance internally. How do people feel? How do the veterans feel in the serving military? They're trying to reconcile this. So the reconcile what's happened. It's just such a dishonourable action. So trying to weigh up their actions, the action of this. Oh, hopes and fears. Yeah, because it's all about, okay, hopes and fears that they have, they have found themselves chained to the toxic devil, a realisation that they have found themselves chained to this toxicity. Chains can be removed, but they some may be, not know how to do so. So just be aware of this. Look at this outcome for Major Arcana. Coming next, here's Trump, how he sees himself sitting in his, in his luxury, doesn't think he's done anything wrong. However, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. This is about healing. Compassion, healing, nurturing. And this Ace of Pentacles in the, so we've got the contrast here with the Ace of Pentacles. The, the, I'm going to say the image that Trump has put out there in the face of this compassionate queen is going to find itself it's going to be shown as fool's gold. Thank you. Right, yeah. What have we got on the bottom? Lies, deceit, betrayal, abuse of power, manipulation, win at any cost. It, this, this message that gets out there is going to be really emotionally overwhelming. They're going to now find themselves um, disappointed in what they thought was something you know, an opportunity or something good, it's not going to end well. For Trump, uh, here's the smug merchant, um, possibly money involved for Trump in regards to this. Or, okay, grifting. Thank you. Um, thinking he's all hunky-dory, uh, that he can do what he likes. It's all about the grift, but I don't think it's going to end well for him. These veterans and these military personnel are going to, it's almost like death by a thousand cuts. Every disrespectful action that Trump and his campaign do is just, it's, it's like one more um, sword in the back. That's all I'm going to say. One more sword, one more sword. Okay. I will have a look. I, okay. What I'm going to talk about is a, is a vision I got uh, when I was brushing my teeth. This is where my guides really plant them in for me, uh, is when my mind is completely blank. I got uh, a vision last night of um, Trump literally spitting in fury as he's venting beetroot red. Um, uh, in regards to the backlash from the military in regards to this, um, it, you know, just absolute, um, I mean, he's already called his 
followers, basement dwellers, but you know, blaming uh, blaming the official, blaming the military, blaming the uh, veterans, etc. Uh, how dare they say this about me? How dare they be disrespectful towards me? Um, you know, it, I just he was just going absolutely spare to the point, Greek to it read, and spitting with with the the venom of his words. It was. Really, a, just an awful, awful image. Thank you, guys, for doing that to me. And, yeah, what's thrown out also, too, is the legal system. Jack Smith as well. I'm going to say Jack Smith as well. Uh, in regards to he's going to find himself entrapped by the, by the messaging. As you see, all these little people in the background walking away. It's never his fault. It, nothing is ever his fault, and I get on the, on the top of this one. A lot of anxiety and loss, loss, ending loss. Um, I'm, oh, next card is the Russia card, so I'm wondering whether Russia's going to not answer his phone calls, the Kremlin. So how is... How is all this that's coming out? Okay, I'll just see how's it going to how is it going to affect Trump uh, in regards to his support? And then I'll do a health I'll do the health because whatever his health did not feel good. So how is all this that's coming out, this disrespect, going to affect Trump's standing? Come on down. Well, here's my vascular event. First card out, um, Three of Swords. Can also be that he is feeling like he's been betrayed. Feel it. Oh, just. And look what's on the bottom the lies, the betrayal, the deceit, the stealing. Vascular event or betrayal? Let's see where this goes. The fool, challenged by the fool. We've got a new start. So, how is this. Uh, um, attack against the veterans or disrespect for the veterans going to affect Trump in his support. The fill card is the challenge for him. Uh, la, 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 step off the cliff. And here's his, his devoted minions. He, he, he's going off a cliff in regards to this at the foundation. Absolutely. Finally. There is an awakening, a, a growing awareness in regards to this, an undeniable awakening. In the past, his toxicity, absolutely. His, it just, oh, yick, yick, yick. Look at these major arcana here. And crowning the reading. Yeah, ra, 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 ra. People are walking away. Yeah, he's going to suffer loss from this. I know a lot of people say this is the celebration card, a lot of readers, but for me, the fact that, the, that these two figures in the foreground are carrying on as if everything is fabulous, but those in the background are leaving, uh, just for me is always about uh, finding themselves, these figures in the, in the middle finding themselves in, uh, trapped by the message that they're putting out there, and it's, People are walking away. Um, in the immediate future, we've got the Empress. Now, it is my Russia car, but I'm not feeling it's Russia at the moment. I mean, I don't feel the Kremlin are taking his phone calls at the moment, but this is an expansion of uh, the feminine energy. Now, when I'm talking about feminine, it's not just uh, females. This is about compassion and um, one of the biggest Factors in what's happening at the moment in uh, in the U.S. politics in the swing is that one side is going. What what can we do for you? Positive joy, compassion, understanding, and the other one is just threats and fears. And this is about the the joy and the compassion and the understanding and the what can we do for you? Let us serve you, the people. Um, it's bought from a place of, of uh, love for country and love for fellow citizens. This is, it's expanding. 
It's giving a genuine alternative and a, an extreme contrast alternative. But how's it affecting Trump? I don't think he's getting any money in. Um, financially, he thought this would be, again, another big grift, but it's not happening. Uh, insecurity and stability. And there will be a decision that he will need to make internally. He is at a crossroads decision point. Does he flee? Does he stay? All that sort of energy. Uh, hopes and fears, poor choices, fog brain. It's also a part for dementia or fog brain. Um, it's also a smoke and mirrors card. I'm really drawn to the joint, or <laughs> whatever, whatever else it's called. There's about a zillion different names for for the rolled the rolled. Happy backy there. I'm just going to call it happy backy. Yeah, I I really do feel that he's not firing on all cylinders. I suspect he's down to about one cylinder. Okay, let's keep going. Harsh reality coming for Trump himself. Uh, and again, here's this looking overseas. Betrayal, heartbreak, loss, the Ace of Swords crowning, uh, piercing the crown. Um, we've got the past, the gifts of the past, the contracts and agreements that were made, the false night with those contracts and agreements, and here's my DOJ card, and there's infor money information being brought up and tower moment for him as things are fully illuminated. Okay, what I'm getting here, it's not so much the, um, the photo op, but he's really considering uh, leaving town Due to all this legal stuff that is coming out, his past agreements for somebody to help him, I don't think are on offer any longer. The false knight, the false friend, because and then we've got this, the oops, sorry, the DOJ bringing forward information. It's going to be a power moment as things are fully brought out into the ocean. We've got the lies, the deceit, the betrayal, the trying to steal. Going to be a real emotional period, a cleansing period for the voter. And then we've got um, the restriction, the legal restriction. I keep getting that he plans to leave, but doesn't can't pull it off. And I'm one really thinking that that's because those that he had made an agreement with have said are not taking his calls. And I'm just going to say the Saudis so not taking his calls. So let's have a look. How's Trump's health at the moment? Given that image I had of him literally spitting his fury at how dare and beat red. It was really, um, he's going to have to defend himself about his attempt to steal. Um, remembering that uh, the DOJ lodged yesterday by Jack Smith at both Florida and uh, the January the 6th the Florida documents and the January the 6th, he's really going to have to, uh, he's on the defensive, he's on the back foot about his lies and his betrayal. Uh, if you're a Trump supporter, this is not your channel. <laughs> yep. The offer is no longer there and he's going to find himself stuck, trapped. The off and again, on the bottom. We've got these cards as well as I shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. The rah, 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 but people are just walking away. He's going to carry, he's going to continue on about how the election, he's going to double, he's going to get even more doubly down about how the 2020 election was stolen. Oh, goodness, what is it? 70 plus court cases have proven that that was not the case. 
So, but let's have a look. How's Trump's health? How is Trump's health? Show me Donald Trump's health. Again, a little bit of a longer reading. Do apologise for this. Donald Trump's health. How's his health? <laughs> Right, page of pentacles, information being brought forward about his health. Pentacles can mean money, but they also mean health. And because I'm asking, they mean opportunities as well. Um, but because I'm asking about health, I'm going to read it as health. So there is going to be some small information about his health come forward, about his mental decline, I'm just a mental and emotional decline. The challenge is literally fog brain. Smoke brain, whatever you like to call it. At the foundation, uh, we've got hacking up the truth and moving forward, but it also can be the trying to sneak out of town. I'm asking about his health. In the past, reaping what he has sowed. Can't live on Maccas and KFC and, and uh, Diet Coke and, and Adderall for decades and not expect it to affect your health oh boy oh boy oh boy like a number of readers i have been seeing for goodness me we'll be going on 18 months or so now that um he's going to have a very public moment where it can no longer be denied and i feel this is it a very public moment where he literally has to be carted off. I did wonder whether it was the bang bang moment for me not to try and get in trouble with the senses. Um, for those that have been following me forever, know that gosh, about six months or more ago, I had the loudest vision of a pop over his head, him falling to the ground and being carted off. And I thought, oh my goodness, was that? A stroke and then I was feeling no it doesn't feel like it though but what is it what is it well that was the bang bang moment but I do there's more there is more coming um immediate future uh information being brought forward about his emotional state trying to keep it under wraps though trying to keep his emotional state under wraps but internally for him it is wild inside that brain. Absolutely. It's going to be wild. Uh, hopes and fears we've got. Uh, could be a judge of some sort. I keep feeling it's around the Michonne, around the time of the Michonne sentencing. Yeah. Emotional loss, despair, heartbreak. The cup's been kicked over. Um the usually it's my abuse of power win at any cost but i'm really feeling that more it's about stealing of reality here due to paranoia his health they're going to try and keep it under cover there's going to be paranoia there i'm not getting the health of uh, like the usual vascular event right at this moment but these are, this feels more like rapid um, mental decline. We've got the DOJ, we've got Russia, we've got Jack Smith, we've got Trump feeling like he's absolutely back up against the wall. We've got a whistleblower with a money trail and then the vascular event. Mercenary actions in the past are going to bring about an ending. So it is this poor place is going on at the moment. Um, I do feel it's going to happen around the time of uh, the the Mershon ruling, whenever uh, sentencing. Um, but it is intimately tied with Russia. Jack, money trails, and the truth being brought out. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Um, it may be a series of events. Uh, his mental decline is going to just be on public display for everybody to see. He's going to find himself 
stripped naked and on public display in regards to this. They're going to try, his team are going to try and keep it under wraps. But then, again, I feel there's going to be something that is just going to be absolutely undeniable uh, vascular event. Okay, I'll leave it there. Uh, off to have lunch with my beautiful, beautiful girlfriend, my longest friend in the whole wide world. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow afternoon, I'm off to see my soothsayer, my, the one that does the cards for me. So I'm absolutely looking forward to that. But I'll be back tomorrow. And then next week, you'll see me in a new location. Love to you all. Take care.